Hello everybody, I'm Lizix, and today, um, back on the PS4. Usually I don't record the PS4, usually I do this sort of thing live, but this is something interesting that isn't fun to do on live, so... Oh, there he goes. My disc finally ejected. My ejection is kind of bad on my PS4. Um, so anyway, today, today I'm dropping things. Today we're going to be playing Rock Band 4. Uh, this is latest, so this is version 2.20, the latest for, uh, jailbroken PS4s. I'm going to be uninstalling it. Why? Well, I just want to show you something a little bit special. You see, this is a launch disc for Rock Band 4. So I put this in. This is made original. This is not Rivals. This is base Rock Band 4. Let's put this in. push it in a little bit because my disc insert and eject is horrible and it should start to download it to my drive copying from disc is complete I can start it now before I start it as you can tell this is a as you actually as you probably can't tell as you can tell now sorry I just hit my mic as you can tell this is a jailbroken ps4 um, system, system info. It's on 7.5. That's interesting, I didn't realize I was on 7.5. Wait, I'm on 7.5? Hold on. Six point, okay, so it is spoofing. Cause, so, this is the version I, I'm on. I'm on 6.72. It's just spoofing my version. Um, I got really worried there, because I was like, did my PS4 auto-update? No, it's just being spoofed to 7.5. Lay six. I got the PS2 theme. You already saw that. Alright, now I just gotta go into package installer and uh, put in all the customs again. That's gonna take a minute, so I'm just gonna uh, do something for a bit. We'll be back. It says 1 out of 52, but it's actually, like, um, 52 packs, or some of them are fat packs. Facts? They're packs. Some of them are, um, DLC packs. Um, some are just single songs. Anyway, I'll let that do its thing, and, um, we'll be back in a bit. I'm back. Everything has been installed. I just realized... If I'm using an engine that doesn't really use overstrumming at all, I can just use my favorite guitar, the good old the good old World Tour Genericaster. Um, because it actually doesn't matter um, if it overstrums in this game. So we'll go ahead and plug that in. Here's the RefNet. It's kind of broken. Uh, as you can see, I had to tape it up. It's a V2, so... I'll get a V3 at some point, probably. Plug that in. 
And you might be thinking, how are you going to use this on a PS4? It's a Wii guitar. Well, here's the thing. I got uh, one of these magic boxes. Uh, it's actually called a Roll Limitless. Um, it's called the Roll Limitless uh, Guitar Adapter. Magical black box. All it has is an Arduino, really. But you just plug your RAFNET or Explorer or um, Xbox 360 wireless USB adapter and your wireless guitar or whatever, whatever guitar you have really. I think for the most part it works with everything. You just plug it in, then plug it into the PS4 and you should be good to go once you start up Rock Band 4. Teen for lyrics. This screen hasn't changed. The next screen has changed a lot. Or not this one, the screen after this. The in the cinematics. Mad Cats was removed. And the laggy 24 FPS uh, intro cinematic was switched to a higher quality 60 fps animation in newer versions there it is lizix here on guitar on the guitar i'll move my camera down a bit so you can see it also before i move it down got a new haircut ready for the summer okay there we go Oh, I'm an idiot. It's trying to load a modern save. It's. <laughs> oh, it's gonna take forever to load because the DLC, because of the customs. No, you have a brand fucking new, like on latest version, um, save file. That's not gonna fucking work. Save data. Rock Band 4. Yeah, look at that. It even looks like the new Rock Band 4. Delete. Are you fucking kidding? I don't care that I had some scores on it. They were bad scores. I didn't, I'm gonna just re-FC the songs that I FC'd. Plus, most of them weren't recorded, so whatever. It's fucking strap, man. Get up on me. There, that's better. I have to watch these again. Honestly, I like this cinematic better than current. There it is, guest. Switch to Lizix. Calibrate. I'll do it manually in a minute. Oh shit, what? What's this? I actually haven't played... I haven't played launch in so long, holy shit. Okay, yeah, this is definitely not in current versions. Even if you haven't played the game before, it's definitely not. Welcome to Rock Band 4! Brand new guitar solo. Don't ask again. Everything looks like so jittery on this version. Let's just change the calibration. Let's enter the numbers. Which I have conveniently saved. To a text file. Or not text file, it's actually private Discord where you just save a bunch of stuff to. Okay, I got the numbers up here. It is audio is 
200. Oh, it's down for up, which it doesn't make sense. But uh, anyway, it is audio. Keep going. 225. And the video. Down is up. That makes no fucking sense. 55. Confirm. And we should be calibrated now. Oh, well. Oh, crap. That might not actually work. Because that's... That's for original rock band, or not launch rock band, it's for newer versions. Whatever. Modifiers, let's get those modifiers up. Yep, drum navigation, sure. Individual track speed, sure. Awesomeness detection, definitely. I'm very awesome like that. Um, Alright. So as you can see down in the corner here, there's nothing. If I turn off freestyle solo, because freestyle solos suck. And here's the worst part about Launch Rock Band 4, in my opinion. You can't select a breakneck speed. It's zero, or or it's one one x, which is normal speed, or 1.25. That's it, or it might be 1.5. That's it for your breakneck speeds. You don't get up, go, get to go all the way to 2.5x, which I don't use anyway. I use 2x, but still, I'll turn on no fail just for fun. Uh, show is all the way on the top instead of in the quick play section, but there is no extra sections. You just click the button and it goes. Uh, it has to load the DLC or DLC. It's customs. Okay, there we go. It's ready. Hold on, I want to read from the Rack Band Reddit what... <laughs> Somebody bought a... A PS4 Rock Band Strat for $230. And that's apparently a good deal. God, okay. Rack Band, you gotta start making some more guitars. Sort by date acquired. So it can go all the way to discs, disc songs. I do not want to show you what happens with a custom just yet, so we'll just go ahead and play Arabella Sure. Go all the way down to Expert. As you can see, the UI looks very different. Um, but that's true for the um, package you can find online, which is... Which I actually have to use- if I leave my disc at one house, I actually have to use that, so sometimes I do use that version. Although that version is more similar to, um, Rock Band 4, Rock Band Rivals era Rock Band 4, um, just with the old UI. This is launch, and it's very, very strange. So, instead of using my... Um, that's the wrong one. Instead of using this, my cutouts, I will be keeping it on this so you can see all the differences. There's no FC ring. All the notes and stuff, it's just way shinier. The fade-off is way earlier. Like, way earlier in the fretboard. The score in the top right looks completely different.
Ah, I didn't even get gold stars. Damn. So here's the end screen. A lot different. You don't actually get any info on how you did. It's just score, star count, and percentage. That's all you get. You don't know you don't get any notes hit, notes missed, highest streak, average multiplier, nothing. It's very it's very base. It's not impressive at all. Uh let's just do one more um one more on discs disc song and then I'll um show you what madness customs are because it's actually kind of funny what customs do it seems like star power whammy works like older versions of rock band in this version where it ticks up slower instead of giving you the max star power way before the whammy's over The solo marker is also different, the solo counter. I need to play a song with Big Rock ending. I don't think any of the newer songs do, so I'm gonna have to play a custom for that, but that's fine. It totally goes up slower. Got gold stars, gold stars look no different, stars look no different, but the border of the score, the border of the score number is different. 99%, alright. That's enough fun with the original songs, which are honestly pretty boring. Let's go up to customs, and prepare your eyeballs for blindness. Okay, stopping here, you can turn back now if you want to. Here goes. I warned you, this is Weirdness City. Yeah, that's a great... There is art in this version. There is art in this song. It's not showing up in this version. It's very corrupted. Let's do this. When you're playing a show or in career mode, your overdrive streaks will carry over between songs. That, um, that was reverted very quickly. <laughs> it was a bad move. Yeah, it's totally going up slower. Yeah, it's going slower. I probably should have picked a different song. Instead of picking Circuit Breaker, but... If you haven't noticed yet, um, 
all animations are completely busted in customs. Like, all camera controls, everything. It doesn't work. Although this does only have guitar, so I just black background it. Still, it's not showing black background, it's showing all the color and stuff. Although, black background doesn't really work in this game. It's like, um, guitar- or not guitar, really. Rock Band 2, where it's just a grayed out venue. And static camera. Wait, is this version actually easier to play? I think this is actually slightly easier to play as well, compared to... current. Maybe I'm just going crazy. I think I'm just going crazy. Also, if you want a funny rock band story, uh, my dad never used um, hyper speed or breakneck speed uh, because he thought it changed your hit window to be smaller. It doesn't. It just makes the notes come at you faster. <laughs> just thought that was a funny note to put in there. Although the hit window does shorten. Wait. Yeah, this is feeling too easy. Crazy, this feels like way easier. Yeah, that feels way too easy. Yeah, what? It's easier! I'm not going crazy! I can't do- I can't do that- I can't do that pattern in- in current Rock Band 4. What? Although I guess calibration is random between versions, so maybe this is just more on calibration than- I should probably activate. <clears throat> we don't talk about that activation, and we don't talk about the score. So anyway, here's the fun one. And here's one that I've told the story of before. If you're in Milo Hacks, you know the story I've told about Launch Rock Band 4 in this song. Here's what it does. Sort by song name. Rock Band 3 Stress Test. Now I don't have full band so I can't show all of it. Um, but here's just the guitar chart. Um, 
in all of its glory. If I had a bass um, and a drum kit to set up back here, I'd show you. Um, I have other guitars, but I I don't want to plug them in because I don't I don't have my rock band one out here, so or back here, so let's just play this. Um, I'm gonna try and hit the notes. Um, it's not gonna happen because it's stress test and it's impossible to hit all the notes. So just watch. It takes a second. It looks like it crashed, but it doesn't. Pay attention. Five notes. Fives are invisible. So yeah, you can't you can't do five 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 note chords. It just doesn't exist. And just like um, current Rock Band Four, I tested it on stream earlier. Same as current Rock Band Four, the solo marker stays on screen until you return to the music library. It just keeps staying on it, and there it's gone. Now let's play... I have to scroll all the way down to Metallica. Alright. Just so I can so I can show you the worst offender of the cra crash glitch I've ever seen for Rock Band 4. It's a known problem, and it was just never fixed before um, the creator of LibForge... Um, Max didn't pass. So, is it one? No, it's not one. Is it battery? No. Master of Puppets. It seems like it's gonna work, and, and you can play about halfway through the song. Like I will be doing right here. And um, just a quick note about this song. This is not a song converted from Onyx. This is a song that was made by Guitar Hero to Rock Band in C3. And then I converted it through Libforge, of course. Here it comes. Here comes the crash. After the solo. just freezes just straight halts that's it doesn't give an error it just halts on the screen this one gives me an error and crashes out that's impressive now there's one more important thing i want to try with um with rock band here with launch rock band now that i have tried the um, infamous, infamous mid crash um, Master of Puppets, which in current just freezes the game and there's nothing I can do. I have to hard reset my PS4. Seems to be still in sync. Good. I had to restart OBS. Let's just start up Rock Band 4 again. We're gonna try a insta crash one, one that cr crashes right on boot or around the first note or so, and I just want to see what will happen. And most of the songs that do this, do that, are Onyx converted, but some are official th C3 charts, which is weird, because I think those would be fine. Oh, we found one!
Crashes on load. We found one. Okay, let's go. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it does the same thing as current. You can still, like, press buttons, spam to your heart's content, strum, does nothing, pause, you can resume, and get stuck at the same spot. So that's unchanged, and still unfixed, if there even is a fix for that. What's really confusing is that official songs work just fine with, like, camera controls and stuff. I guess something about how they're made? I don't know. I guess something about how they're, how LibForge is doing the conversions or something. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Nobody uses Launch Rock Band 4 because it's shit. Thanks for watching. Peace.